there. It's the day before Valentine's Day. Really super cool. I've been having a lot of fun. Um, but we have something interesting going on with the weather. And why is my mouth moving differently than my voice? <laughs> oh, that always cracks me up. <clears throat> anyway. Let's see. Oh, hi. I've been having some interesting things going on in my life where um, I have been um, applying for new jobs. And I want to recommend that to people, even if you like your job, because what I found out is that um, there's a lot of jobs out there. And it's uh, empowering to have people interview you and talk to you and um, maybe they might not even like you, but just to like put a resume together and um, find out what talents you have. Okay, so let's look at the weather. This is, uh, of course, just the United States and Canada and Mexico. <laughs> but I live right around here. And what I think is interesting is these little lines that are showing up right here. My grandkids and I went to the store, and right in that area, it looked like up in the sky was like a waffle pattern. And my grandkids said uh, that that looked very interesting, and I thought it looked very interesting too. And I wanted to get closer to that, but I couldn't on here. So, but look at all of this. This is radar. Look at how weird it looks. And this is uh, moving down kind of like a knife here. And it's bringing bitter cold and snow and blah, blah, blah. So let's take another look at something else. This is the IntelliCast interactive map. Um, oops, sorry about that. Look at Europe here. Uh, it looks like they're having a lot of fun there, too. Um, I'm going to put it on right here. It'll show the satellite of clouds. As you can see here. Their forecast is for a lot of snow in this area. But it looks like they're going to get something here, of course, and here. And I'm assuming, because of the pictures that people send and post, that it's artificial insemination of weather all over, just like in my little area which you can't tell on here. What I do know, though, is besides the weather, when we look over here at Australia and we look at the r radar, the radar isn't just going around the outside of Australia, for example, because that's the only place where there's weather. But the radar is used to monitor what's coming into Australia by air, and land and sea. Isn't this an interesting spot in Australia right here? Doesn't that look like some thing created that instead of being natural? There's a few spots that look like that and what a nice little um, area that would make. There's a few spots like that that I find. Okay I'm going back over here now. I want to look at earthquakes. Oh, wow. Now, I didn't know this. I just flipped this on. I've been really busy all day. Uh, 5.1 at 1707 GMT. That's pretty big for that area. The rest of them all smaller, 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 smaller. The way it works on this, as far as the color, it's color coded. So Six hours is, or red is the first six hours, then yellow is the next six hours, then orange, <coughs> excuse me, and then gray. So it's for, it's a 24 hour earthquake alert. That looks huge right there. Um, so all these little um, circles for earthquakes are just within the last 24 hours. And this shows up weird. Mm. 5.8 in Christchurch. They had a really bad one there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
excuse me, uh, a few years ago. Now, the weird thing is, is that there's this line right here, and it won't show me earthquakes over here unless I go back over this way. See, that's strange. Okay, and then the other thing I want to look at is the temperatures. <coughs> I'm sorry. I didn't even have that when I started this video. But see, 4, 2, it's uh, really, really cold. And, you know, I'd like to ask people to please help anybody or any animal that you see. Even throwing out bread for the animals or... You know, if you see somebody that looks like they need help, give them a ride. Uh, if you see children without their hats on, give them a hat. <coughs> this looks incredible right here. Okay, so I'm going to stop that now. This is the National Weather Service, and where I live is Winter Weather Advisory from February 14th, 6 a.m., through February 14th, 9 p.m., which is all of Valentine's Day. Snow. <laughs> and I have to go into work. Mm. Well, well, well. But the good thing is, is that it's going to warm up, as you can see here. Right now, it is cold. 10 degrees. It felt much colder earlier when the wind was blowing. But then it'll be warmer tomorrow, and on and on and on. And there were tulips at the store today. So I got some of these tulips, which this was unbelievable. The lady in the store, I said, they're going to freeze because we bought four of these. Uh, and she goes, well, I'll put them in a bag. So she puts them in a bag up to here. <laughs> so anyway, I covered the top of them. My grandkids are in the back playing this zombie game that they just got. They're like having a thrill. They're getting thrilled. I also got this to share with people. Chocolate candy -hoo -hoo for Valentine's Day. And I'm not advertising, but the I'm just I want to show it without showing the brand name, but <laughs> these are all weird chocolate truffles and different flavored truffles and we got some yummy other food so so we're gonna have a fabulous time even if I have to go into work because that's the way we do it baby yep that's the way we do it so let me just show you this map on the National Weather Service, wintry weather, Midwest, Ohio Valley, bitterly cold, blah, 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 blah. This whole area is down here. Winter weather advisory. Look at up here in Alaska, blizzard warning. But I'm telling you, if you... If you could see the lines in the sky and all the weird stuff that was going on right in here, you would know something's up. And I don't have to show all that. Anybody that wants to can find it out. Everybody's doing videos about that now. Okay, and then I like this too, RSOE. Um, all these little symbols represent something that's happening in these areas or has happened somewhat recently. Up here they have this flashing alert and it lets you know that there's a global health emergency which I'm sure is about the Zika um, issue description a disease linked to the Zika virus in Latin America poses a global public health emergency Experts are worried that the virus is spreading far and fast with devastating consequences. All right, so this has been around for a long time, and just recently the genetically modified mosquitoes were released into South America, which uh, a lot of people are saying has something to do with this. And my question here is why 
to somebody trying to uh, talk people out of having children. What is the thing with that? All right, let's see what else. Okay, so I'll have the link for this map below. Um, these little links are interesting to click on and then to click. Um, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to move down and show you what else was there. But over on the side here, if you go on this little arrow or whatever it's called and go down, you can find out um, some other things that have happened recently. And this is what I think is interesting as I was looking at this. Because we've got biological hazard, hazmat, non-categorized event, biological hazard, biological hazard, um, biological hazard. That's a lot of biological hazards happening, re happening recently. And this is just what's reported on to here. And then this vehicle accident, that's like, what is that about? Let's click on that just for a moment. Description. As many as 15 students of a private in educational institution suffered minor injuries. All right, so let's scroll back for a minute. Because there was something on here that I thought was uh, unusual also. Where is it? Oh, biological hazard in Antarctica. All right, let's click on that and the description. All right, I'm going to move this over. I have this shorter just because of the beginning part of my video here. Around 150,000 penguins have died after a large iceberg grounded near a colony of, um, and then I don't know how to pronounce that name of the penguins in Antarctica. And you can look, come on here and read about this. Um, and December 13, they're saying that the study says that the penguins population has reduced to 10,000 penguins. Um, so you, the sharp decline comes after the iceberg B09B, which has an area of around 100 square kilometers grounded in the bay in 2010. It has effectively cut off the colony's food supplies, forcing the penguins to walk around 60 kilometers to find food. Um, that's intriguing and sad. All right, let's go back to something else. Okay, so the ending part of this, I ate the candy with a bunch of people for Valentine's Day, but I'm looking at El Dorado map here. Um, now over on the side of this, let's see if I can move it over a minute. There's all these little things I can click on. <clears throat> this one I can animate the radar. Um, sure. It's moving a little. But I'm going to click on infrared satellite. Now look at this. Okay, I live right in here where we're going to get snow, but this over here has been like this for almost every time I look. This just looks like it's incredible storm going on there all the time. Isn't that amazing? What do you think about that? And looking even over Africa, it looks like there's plenty of water vapor. We should be getting a lot of rain. All right, well, it is almost Valentine's Day. And I'm grateful for you, and I'm here at your service. I decided to zoom in by where I live. I can see this line when I go outside to the south. I can see that up in the sky. Quite amazing. So I hope you have a wonderful time doing whatever you're doing. This Valentine's was sent to me by a friend. Marge, thank you. I love you. Bye-bye. Mm.